Hello and welcome to Telling Our Story, a project run by the Royal British Legion, which we're hoping that the British Association for Local History can get involved with and help us on. You probably know quite a lot about the Royal British Legion already, but let me just tell you a little bit about our history. On May 15th, 1921, four national organisations of ex-servicemen, which had established themselves after the First World War, joined together to form the British Legion. These were the National Association of Discharged Sailors and Soldiers, the British National Federation of Discharged and Demobilised so Sailors and Soldiers, the Comrades of the Great War and the Officers Association. The amalgamation of these diverse bodies can be attributed largely to two men, Field Marshal Earl Haig, who served as the President of the Royal British Legion until his death, and Thomas Lister of the Federation of Discharged and Demobilised Sailors and Soldiers. Over six million men had served in the war. Of those who came back, 1.75 million had suffered some kind of disability and half of these were permanently disabled. As well as this, there were of course many men who did not return and whose families were financially dependent on them. The Legion supported those who had suffered as a result of service during the First World War and we've been helping the armed forces community and their families ever since. So who are we now? Well, we are who we have always been. We're a membership organisation which fundraises to support our armed, serves, armed forces community all year round. So this could be through rehabilitation services. So at the top here, we have an image of a gentleman who attended our rehabilitation through the arts programme. And the next one here you'll see is from our Battleback Centre, which is a rehabilitation programme through adventure sports. We also do a lot of work with the elderly and this how we have six care homes throughout the UK. And we also have our support in the community, which works with carers of those people who are living with um, people with dementia, our Agmore nurses. And we also have our advice and information centres, which you might have seen around the country, our pop-in centres, which work to support anybody in the community, uh, the armed forces community, to support them with any needs they might have, be it financial or otherwise. So what is telling our story? Well, as I said, we started in 1921. So going into 2021, we're going to be celebrating our first 100 years. And we want to include all of its wonderful people within that celebration. We are asking for anyone who has been a part of our history to tell us their own stories or those of people that are no longer with us. We are also collecting memorabilia and artefacts relating to our history that they may have in their personal or branch collections. We will then be able to archive these into a digital library to preserve them and share them for the next 100 years. This is our story. So the people that make up the Legion that we want to speak to are largely made up of two groups. The first is our members, being a membership based organisation. We have members that you know, started back from 1921 right up until the current day, people still joining us today, which is fantastic. These people help us to provide support to the armed forces community and their families in their local areas. And they are a vital part of our national network involved in everything that we do. So you can see at the top here, we have a standard bearer. So we obviously have lots of members that want to be involved with us through the commemorative events side of our organisation, with us being a, the champions of remembrance every year. On the right here, you'll see people who are members in different capacities. We have a riders branch member here on the left, you can tell by their leathers. Um, and somebody else on the right here who um, I couldn't tell you what, Outside of membership they are in but they are seeing the branch of some kind and these people they do so much work for us in different capacities so they might be doing fundraising work as part of that of their membership they may be volunteers that help to actually help in an operational role throughout covid this year for example we had a telephone buddy system running to keep in touch with lots of uh, lonely and elderly and vulnerable people who weren't able to get out and about and these are people who do that operational type work um, to support our community. 
they may also be caseworkers. So anybody that calls us for help, there are members and volunteers throughout the UK who will support people within their local community in whatever way they need. They may also run local Legion clubs, which you might have seen in your local area, are lovely drinking grounds. So these are the types of people we want to get in touch with. They make up the history of the Legion. We want to know how they came to be involved with the Legion, celebrate their achievements, see their photos, hear their heartwarming stories, discover the memorabilia that they have gathered along the way, and know their hopes for the Legion for the next hundred years. Similarly, we have our fundraisers in our local communities, and they too play a crucial role. Every year, obviously, they take part in the Poppy Appeal, which takes all summer to plan and all autumn to fulfil. Lots of those fundraisers are still doing their counting part of their, uh, of their work now, so they're still working hard long after Remembrance is over. Obviously, these people started collecting money for poppies back in 1921 when the Legion first started, and it's still as popular and a successful campaign today. And they do fundraise in other ways throughout the year within their local communities too. So again, we want to know all those same things that we spoke about with the members. So what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for two things, anything and everything. It's a very broad scope, I know, but bear with me, I will clarify a bit further down the line. But as long as these are Legion based stories and items, we want to hear them and see them. So what are we looking for? This is an example of a submission that was sent to us a few weeks ago. The gentleman in the picture here is um, George Arthur Roberts. And this was submitted through the Camberwell branch. George was a rifleman during World War One who became famous for throwing em enemy bombs back at them. He became known as the Coconut Bomber. He then served in the fire brigade in New Cross in World War Two and was awarded the British Empire Medal for his educational works in 1944. He campaigned for soldiers welfare within the NFDDSS. And after the Legion was born, he founded the Camberwell branch. As a result, he was awarded Lifetime Legion membership in 1962. Both for his military and fire service duties, his pioneering work in the community, educating people on cultural differences, and of course, his work within the Legion. So here you can see on the, on the left hand side, there's a lovely article written about him in Legion magazine. You can see his lovely um, World War One photograph at the bottom there. And at the top there, we have his certificate for his lifelong membership. This was obviously a very um, well regarded man in our community and he did so much. And this is a fantastic, huge story about somebody that was involved with the Legion. We want to hear these amazing stories. And this is obviously also a good example of a well rounded submission we've had. There's pictures, there's a whole story that goes along with this and the whole history of this gentleman's work. And there are other documents to back up this story and to make it a complete submission, which we're hoping that BLH members might be able to really prize out of our communities so that we can have really comprehensive stories around uh, around these people. But we don't just want to hear the amazingly big grand stories. We are also looking for smaller stories on an individual basis. So here again, we have a submission that came along with various other pieces about individual Effie pairs. Effie volunteered with the Legion for over 50 years in her local branch, where she would make poppies and wreaths. She was chairman of the Lexton branch women's section, and despite being severely disabled, she never missed a meeting. Her granddaughter was the one that submitted this to us, and it's a, the kind of story we would like to hear more about if a local BLH member was able to get in touch with this granddaughter and find out the full story of this incredible lady. I'm sure there is so much more we could learn about her. I'm also sure there are plenty of other people just like Effie who we could find within our local branches and fundraising teams. On the left here, you can see a newspaper article that was written about her. And also on the left, a letter there from Clarence House when the Queen Mother wrote to Effie to congratulate her for all of her achievements and service to the Legion. So how can you help with this project? 
other than the obvious of getting out there and researching these people and helping people to submit their stories, there are a few issues here that you can see um, with, with these pictures that have been submitted. And we're hoping that BLH, with your presentation and research skills, you'll be able to make sure that members are able to tell the full story behind their submissions and get the best out of their items to be able to put them into this archive, along with any supporting documents and photos they have. Because at the moment, we're getting very short stories and snippets of stories that aren't the full thing. And we, we won't be able to use them in the future and tell a full story unless we have everything that goes along with it. So you can see at the top here on the left, these lovely photographs were submitted by, I can't pronounce that word, branch. If anyone knows where that is, let me know. Um, so I know where it is, but I don't know what it is. In the middle there, we've got another lovely picture. I, again, we have no information about who's in this picture and what they do. We obviously know the standard bearer at the front, but I don't know who they are. and I don't know what the other two men in this picture are doing. And on the right here, you'll see that they've digitised these pictures by taking photographs of the photograph, which is all we can ask to them to do at the moment if they don't have a scanner. Obviously, with COVID, we aren't able to get out to help these people to digitise them in, in the best possible way with good quality cameras. It might be that further down the line, you are able to do that or that you are able to meet up with these people in your local communities to be able to get those photographs off of them at a safe distance and in a safe way and take these pictures for them. So here you can see we've got a bit of a shiny ghost image over the people on the right and it's not making for a good photograph for our library going forwards. So hopefully with your expertise you'll be able to make these into better submissions. So that's all there is to it really. Um, the way to submit the items, we've made it as easy as possible. As this is a digital archive, everything has to be digital and therefore can be sent by email to our inbox, which is telling our story at britishlegion.org.uk. Everything just comes through by email. We have submission forms that the person whose item or story it is um, has to fill out so that we get all the correct permissions to be able to use it in the future and for people to be able to access. So if you submit something, we'll send you the, the submission form um, pre previously anyway, um, prior to you going out to these people so that you can ask them at the time to fill it out. But if you don't, if it doesn't come back with one, we will email it back to you, ask you to get them to fill it out. So let's get started. Um, if you want to email us to know, let us know your interest in the project, that'd be fantastic. There again is the email address. Tell us your name and your location um, because that will help us to get you in touch with other people. And also, if you could let us know if you're happy for us to send your contact details on to local Legion members or fundraisers in your area, that would be fantastic because if, the sooner we can link you up with people, uh, the sooner we can obviously start getting something back from these people. Uh, it might be that you have your own stories. You might be in touch with the Legion yourself and have done things with the Legion in, in the past or still to this day. But we will send you any resources to help you along the way, including our messaging and our storytelling forms, which helps people to set out the structure of their stories a bit better. And along with those submission forms that I mentioned before. So that's everything. We really hope that you will be able to help us out with this project and get your teeth into something really interesting and find out all those fantastic stories and find those fantastic items that our branches and fundraisers have um, in, in their local areas. Um, and we really hope you enjoy being part of it. And um, I want to say thank you in advance for any help that you can give us.